fucking maggot! Get behind me! Come out here, bastard. Make it easier on yourself. Hmm. Huh. Not who I was expecting. Looking for someone? Yes. Well, then that makes two of us. One too many. Maybe we're looking for the same person. And? Well, he's a berserker. About your size. Fast. Ring any bells? Pretty vague description. His name's Marwin. He wants to get to the fort, but I'm not gonna let him. You seem pretty determined. I don't like to fuck around. What did Marwin do to you? To me? Nothing. But that's irrelevant. I know he's supposed to work with the alchemists in the fort. Yeah. It's my job to get him there safely. Hmm. So you're the errand boy. Giving the job to a clueless imbecile. Sounds like something the fort would do. Watch it. Maybe I should explain. The alchemist's elixirs heal wounds, improve a warrior's strength, that sort of thing. It's an advantage that means they're stronger than other factions. Well, Baxter's had enough. What's that got to do with Marwin? Not a lot. He's just a pawn. When I've seen to it that he won't make it to the fort, I'll take his place. And do what? Nothing awful. Just learn what they know so everyone can make use of the knowledge. Such power shouldn't be a secret. A noble goal, don't you agree? If you're wondering, there's a reason I told you all this. Are you asking for my help? Time is not on my side. Working together, we can do something incredible for the free people. Imagine what could be achieved with access to the alchemist's secrets. Listen, what do you think's gonna happen when the Purple Sky Plague's been eradicated? The Berserkers will try to seize power for themselves. They'll keep fighting. The bodies will keep piling up. They must be stopped. It's too dangerous for one faction to have so much power. Our boss understands that. Do you? About Marwin? What's your plan? He has to die. His escort's been taken care of, but Marwin got away. Listen, four eyes can see more than two. If you spot him, end him, okay? And his body? The raptors will take care of it. So, will you help me? You're asking a lot. 
I don't kill for sport. It's necessity. Can you live with the alternative? The outlaws can't, I assure you. Plus, my future's based on the success of this mission. Disobeying Baxter's orders is a one-way ticket to a great deal of discomfort. Tell me when you've made your decision. Where was he the last time you saw him? Join me, then I'll tell you what I know. Very good. About Marwin? I'll get rid of him. <laughs> Listen, you're doing the right thing, okay? Right. Time to find our quarry. I'll look here, you try in the west. I doubt he's managed to find a new hiding place just yet. Oh, and one other thing. Don't give him a chance to get away, understand? Good luck. Well, that was... pretty bad. Beasts everywhere. Almost got me. Oh, wait. Who are you anyway? You're Tylus's apprentice, right? Oh, wow. Yeah. Did he send you? It's good to meet you. But maybe we should take this conversation somewhere else. Come with me. My hiding place isn't far from here. Keep your eyes open. The silence is deceptive. Okay, Mrs. Better. I'm sorry about the smell. Finding a safe place to answer nature's call, well, it's not easy. How long have you been hiding out here? A few days, I suppose. Maybe longer. It's not by choice. I should be at the fort. But Tylus must have forgotten about me. But you were stopped. Right. It's not just those creatures that are out to get me. My guides were shot by some bastard outlaw. A whole troop left Goliath, but I'm the only one left. I guess he wanted me dead too, but I got away. He's still out there, waiting, while I'm stuck here using up all my supplies. About the outlaw. Yeah? I met him. And you're still alive. What did he say? He wants to take your place as the Alchemist trainee. He wants to kill me for that. Are you serious? Totally serious. So, what happens now? You need to leave now and never come back. But... My training... Your training? Your life is in danger. I know. But if I give up now, I'll never be able to show my face in Goliath again. Nobody says you have to go back to Goliath. Look, thanks, but you don't get it. What am I supposed to do now? I mean, where do I go? There are other factions you could work for. Yeah, maybe. 
I definitely can't stay here now. All right, look after yourself. Not, I'll Not bad. About Marwin, he won't be causing you any more trouble. Excellent. Pity he'll never know how great a purpose he served. What are you gonna do now? I'm going to the fort. I need to present myself to the alchemist. Dressed like that? Good point. Just a second. Hmm, a little tight, but... At least one of Marwin's escorts was more my size. Feel free to search Marwin's corpse if you haven't already. Berserkers usually carry around some useful stuff. It's of no interest to me and I have to show my appreciation somehow, so you may as well take it. Well, I'll see you in the fort. Hold on a sec. Tylus was asking about you. You better go talk to him soon. Anything else? He said you should kick over a few shards for this info. What? I didn't hear anything about that. Yeah. He told me over a beer. Seriously. Hmm. Okay. So cough up some shards. I'll bring them to Fenris later. Shit. Here, for a good cause. The community is grateful. Get out of here. You gotta talk to Tylus. Good. Man, remember how this place used to look? Yeah, a whole lot more desert. Seeing what we've made here? Makes me proud to be a berserker. Sorry for rambling on like that. Name's Brambard. Nice to meet you. Ah. Tell me, do you have any news from the border regions of Caracas? The Morcons attacked one of the World Hearts there. Really? Oh boy, that's tough. Why are you so interested? We're wearing ourselves pretty thin in the inland of Tavar. In the coastal areas, too. The way I see it, the real danger comes from outside. Not enough of us in Caracas. It'll be our undoing. At some point I'll get myself over to... At some point I'll get myself over to Caracas to check everything's okay. show you something? Of course. Great! I said I wanted to show you something. But actually, I want your opinion. Nobody listens to me. What is it, honey? I want to show you something. What do you want it? Yeah, yeah, come on. We have to go behind Hitch's hut. I'm not technically allowed to go there anymore. But now you're coming with me. I wish I wasn't. Don't worry, mister. I bet 
Hey, you're surprised to be here. So, go on. We're behind the hut. What am I supposed to be looking at? You adults are so big, you forget to look down at your feet. There are so many cigarettes on the ground here. Cigarettes. That's what I said. Cigarettes. Look closely at them. And then tell me what you see. Look, but don't touch. That's important. They're wet and... A few cigarette butts. Nothing out of the ordinary. I said look, don't touch. Yeah, yeah, okay. About those cigarettes. Yeah, what do you think? Are you hiding behind the hut to smoke? Ew! No, they're disgusting. They look okay to me. That's not the point, though. Why don't you just tell me what's going on? I always have to explain everything. Think, why would anyone smoke so much? They could be stressed. No. Waiting. Someone was waiting here. And they spent all their time staring through the window. Now why would someone do that? They were planning on stealing something? But nobody stole anything from Hitch. So what's your theory? I think someone was standing outside Hitch's hut, waiting for him to leave. Then they went inside and caused all sorts of trouble. That sounds like you know everything already. Why do you even need me? You're here to tell me I'm right. You could be right, you could be wrong. I'm right, I have to be. I have to go. I gotta talk to Hitch. I need to get to the bottom of this. Bye, mister. What do you want, you snotty brat? Haven't I told you to get lost? But I can help you find out who was in your hut. You were hanging out behind my house again. Yeah, but only because... Get out of here. Go out and play or something. I don't have time for your games. Hi there. Hmm, I know you, don't I? Not in the mood for chat. Unless you want to scrub this floor? No? Well, that's a fucking surprise. What's going on here? Some filthy bastard used my hut as a public shitter. Dumped a load next to my damn bed. Oh, that's just disgusting. You're telling me. It's my fucking hut. Till I find out who did it, Fenris will have to assign someone else to the South Gate. Spend your time looking out for people, and how do they repay you? With a turd in your house. Don't know why I fucking bother. Do you need a bucket of water? No, I can do it myself. Let me give you some advice. Keep an eye on those little shits. No, the kids, not the lump on my floor. Bet my life one of them are responsible for this. A good beating would sort the little fuckers out if you ask me. Very good. No time, mister. Over here. So, you made it past the gate guard. Do I know you? 
Uh, not yet, but you will soon. We have something in common, you see. Oh yeah? What's that? Well, we're both standing here. <laughs> but maybe this isn't the time for joking around. I'm Hank. How you doing? I bet you worked hard to get in here, huh? <laughs> it's a slog. Believe me, I know. Had to work with the salvagers back in the day before I was allowed in. So, I want to make you an offer. A little head start never hurt anyone. And what exactly do you have to offer? Something you won't find anywhere else. Let's talk business. I have no issue with shards, but there are plenty of other more interesting ways to pay. I trade items, for example. Then put the profits to good use. But since we all need shards sometimes, how about making a small investment? Consider it an advance on any future business. Once it's made, we can exchange things sometimes, and I'll give you something valuable in return. I have to pay you to trade with me. Uh, kind of. Think long term, though. It'll be worth your while sometime in the future. You give me shards, I invest them wisely. I'm not interested in wasting my time or yours. You should see the rare, priceless pieces I've got my hands on before. It's what I do. Trust me. Here, shake my hand. I can tell you're starting to realize it makes sense. Is that enough? Are we good? Oh, we're good. You won't regret it. Don't get tricked out of the rest of your shards now. It can happen. It's why I mostly trade in objects. You get it, I can tell. How does two days sound? Then I'll have something you won't believe. I'm excited just thinking about it. Meet me back here. Got it. Can't you see I'm talking to someone? Let's take a look at you, boy. I'm not getting the impression that alchemy is your forte. You think I care, old man? Hmm. Looks like I'll have to teach you some manners as well as the first steps. But that's fine. Take a look around. Familiarize yourself with everything. Training. We'll begin tomorrow. Oh, shit. I want you to know I couldn't have done it without you. My boss gave me something for the job, but uh, I don't need it. You earned it. It's yours. Thanks. Right. I have to be going. I've made sure that your apprentice will find you. I expect you wish it was you. Ask him yourself. Hm. Huh. It's the apprentice who does the asking. But thank you for finding him for me. I think you're forgetting something. Heaven help me. You want some kind of payment, I suppose. I need some shards too. I'm not a gold mine. I'll tell Fenris what a helpful fellow you are. There. That's how generous I am. Now, I must be getting on with things. There's so much work to be done. Not bad. Uh, about the tranquilizer. D
Can't you see I'm busy? Do you ever listen at all? Do you even know what listening is? Ugh, I've told you countless times already. I thought that if I... I highly doubt that you telling me what you thought will help. Is there anything else I can do for you? I'm sure you've heard that we're missing work tools. I'd take care of it myself, but... Well, you've seen the sorts of people I have to work with. What's your solution? Well, if our esteemed blacksmith imagines he can shirk his duties and only make weapons, he's very, very wrong. If we're not getting any work tools from Goliath, it's up to him to make some. Someone just needs to make him understand. Can I count on you? Think about it. I'm a woman of my word. You will be paid. I'll go to the blacksmith for you. Good. If Lass refuses to take it on, tell him that it's not up for discussion. Woman of such beauty, to love her I thought was my duty. I left my work, I had to rest. My heart was pounding in my chest. She looked at me, she shook her head. I stink just like a pig, she said. Now I stay clear of women better that way. So I just swing my hammer all day. Mm -hmm. Help you with something. Speak up and talk fast. There's iron in the fire. Are you still taking orders? You're fucking with me, right? I'm working all night, pal. Couldn't make another nail for nobody. Damn forge is hotter than hell. Swinging a hammer in there is thirsty work. So, you buying? Cheers. Thanks. Bottoms up then. Cheers. Oh, man. That hit the spot. You can come as often as you like. <laughs> hey, I owe you one. Not everybody do me a favor like that. Can you forge me a weapon? Been thinking about a plan for a real special weapon for a while now. Haven't had the time. But if you brought me what I need, I'd make it for you. What do you think? What would it take for you to teach me how to be a blacksmith as well? Knock it off, kid. Told you. Too busy. Well, I mean I hate to take shards from friends. But if you officially hired me as a teacher, what do you think? I'll pay you to teach me. And just like that, things look very different. What do you want to know? About that special weapon. I'll get you what you need. Ha! My man! It's gonna be a true masterpiece. Of course, we'll need some real choice components. What are we talking about? I need some real dense bone for the tank. Real dense. None of them little scraps. Any asshole can find them. I need some real rough leather. Not that artificially rough and crap. That stuff is weak. I need leather that's naturally rough. Yeah, I can get that. Hold up. I'm not done yet. We need some acid, too. Acid? Yeah, acid. Strong as you can get. 
I use it to pattern the blade, and for mixing a glue even a troll can't unstick. Where do I find all this? Not at the market. You'll have to go hunting. Look for old animals. Critters produce really strong acid. And just like people, the older they get, the more acerbic they are. <laughs> okay, stay focused. Funny thing about pricklebacks is that the innards shrink as they get older. Hard to see from the outside, but even though their bones get thinner, they aren't getting lighter. They become denser, more solid. That's what we need, prickleback bones. And the leather? I was just getting to that. Most young animals have pretty smooth skin, but wet lurker skin is like it's tanned naturally. The older they get, the harder and tougher their skin is. That would be perfect for our masterpiece. You got enough iron? Still got some steel bar I brought with me from Goliath. We're saving it for a special project. Reckon I'll fold them a few times and use them for this. All the iron we'll need. Any idea where I can find these old animals? Not much of one. Was talking to the hunter Astrid just the other day. She gave me some pointers on some packs she's seen. Hold on. I'll dig out my notes for you. This should get you there. Let's just hope there's some ancient ones among them, huh? Oh, and if you could see your way to getting two of everything, I'd be mighty grateful. It'd mean I'd have enough to maybe make something else as well. I can do that. Thanks. Then happy hunting. You have to manufacture the tools for the cultivators. Listen, I'm a weaponsmith. We supposed to send our people out to fight with pitchforks and scythes? Not gonna do it. I'm not going back there empty-handed. Now you listen to me. It's not as easy as you think. What she's asking for takes time. Time and a whole pile of iron. I don't have enough of either as it is. Exactly how much time and how much iron do you need? for the tools. <laughs> You're a tenacious one, huh? Fine. You get me 25 nuggets of iron ore, and I'll see what I can do. Maybe I can squeeze the order in somewhere. But I'm not spending more than three days at the anvil for this. Here, the ore for the tools. Well, the supplies are no longer a problem. Now on to the next thing. I said I'd give you three days at the anvil. That'll get five quality tools, or ten basic ones. I always say quality is worth it, but five won't be enough for every cultivator. I won't guarantee quality for double that many, just so we're clear. So what'll it be? Come on, decide now. Ain't got all day. Make me ten basic tools. Good. Tell Thor Hill she got her way. Next beer's on you. I'll deliver them myself. No need for you to come collect them. actually trying to convince me that you don't know where your friends are hiding? I was just having a little snooze, and then... Shut up and march across that field. Yes, ma'am. Last made you the work tools. Did it cause any problems? 
They'll probably mark it down against your name in the future. Typical. Anything else? I had to decide how many work tools he should make. That blockhead should just do his job. But, good. I can stop worrying about it now. There were a few expenses. Here I am with all these problems and you come talking about expenses. There. Now listen to me. My workers are running away. And while I'm trying to fix their mistakes for them, they take the rest of the day off. You just let them go like that? What do you take me for? I was distracted for a split second. That's all it took for them to make a break for it. Just now, when the seedlings need the most attention. You need to get them back. No discussion. I can't do it myself. I need to make sure the seedlings don't wither away. Where would your workers hide? If only I knew. They couldn't have gotten very far. I'm guessing they're in the fort. Eating, drinking. They want nothing more in life. Finally came to your senses, huh? It's time we took... Blade is blunt. Looking for something? She's in a mood again. I'm telling you, next chance I get, I'm quitting. I don't understand anything about working here, but nobody wants to help you either. Just one disaster after another. Too many ears listening. Here's some advice. If you find any other job than this one, take it. I beg to differ. Sometimes I wish the Duke was back. Anyone who says so is a damn idiot. Not now. The old lady's looking this way. Hmm. You better be quiet. She can't be serious. Don't ask me what this is about. <coughs> Sounds like bullshit no to me. Time. 
in the area too. You're thirsty, aren't you? Shouldn't you be looking after the seedlings? I can wait. Thorhill doesn't see it that way. And that old lady should pay us some real money. We're not screwing around for the hell of it. We know a lot's riding on these seedlings. That's why we're busting our asses looking out for them. But just a couple of shards for all that? Just... Come on, man. What's wrong with these shards? Not enough of them's what's wrong. We do anything wrong and the bitch cuts our pay. Why don't you bring it up to her? She doesn't give a shit. Only cares about that green stuff. And always finds something to complain about. Rearing these seedlings ain't easy. But maybe for her it is. Been working the field all her damn life. But us? Look at this ragtag bunch. Most of them are from the gutter. That smart-ass attitude of hers doesn't help. Tossing a few shards our way is the least she can do. Is Thorhild the one who decides how many shards you get? I think so. She's so stingy, I bet she doesn't even change her drawers. Couldn't you talk to her? If you can get her to kick in a few more shards for us, we'll get back to work. Promise. How is this all gonna end? Well, if the blade is blunt. Did you find the cultivators? Yeah. Butch told me they wanted more shards. Ungrateful curs. Is my training worth nothing to them? They don't think much of that either. And they still want more shards? Unacceptable! Surely you can spare a little, Alexit. You've no doubt noticed that more seedlings has meant more cultivators. A little soon turns into a great many. But Fenris isn't allocating me more funds. So, I have to make do with the budget I have. You see? My options are limited. Or do you have a solution already? That should be enough for your workers. Stars take me! Where did you get so many shards? That's not important. Will you share it with your workers? Of course. Maybe the shards will finally make them focus on their work. You can tell Butch that the cultivators will be getting a pay raise. No problem. I expected nothing less from you. You know what you have to do. They all die. Pretty good with faces, and yours is new around here. So spit it out. Who are you? Name's Jax. Alright then. Next question. Faction. Which one do you belong to? I don't belong to anyone. Better not be lying to me. Why would I lie about that? I guess we'll see. Just remember, I'm gonna be watching you real close. 
Do you interrogate everybody like this? We have to be extra careful these days. There's been a few undesirables hanging around the fort. And they could be anywhere. But you seem to check out. You can smell those bastards a mile away. Bottom line, though, we need to find them soon. Fort's had enough trouble lately. Who are these people you're talking about? They're the ones who tried to kill Rat. You must have seen their propaganda. It's all over the fort. You know, the outlaw flyers. Yeah, I've seen it. Hard not to. The damn things are everywhere. Warlord Rat's not gonna let the outlaws spread their lies like this. And it's my job to put a stop to them. You get to help me. How exciting is that? All right, I'm in. Well, that was easy. Glad to see you're so eager to do your duty. The city guard appreciates it. What do you know about the attempt on Rat's life? Didn't Fenris explain everything? Uh, all right, I'll give you the short version. The outlaws managed to plant a bomb in the upper district, but the whole scheme fell apart. After that, Rat had the area closed off. Only people we know we can trust are allowed in. Ever since, that propaganda has been showing up all over the fort. Wish I could tell you more, but that's all I know. How can we find the source of the outlaw propaganda? Well, the bastards who spread this stuff did leave some clues behind. Such as? Here's one of the flyers they've been putting up. Here's one of the nails they used to hang them. Take a good look at them. See if you notice the same things I did. Very good. About those clues. Go on, look close. The back of the flyer is kind of interesting. That's right. It gives us a concrete lead to follow. A starting point, at least. What about the nail? Any thoughts on that? It looks like this nail was made in a forge. Good, good. My conclusion exactly. And the flyer. You spotted the same two clues I did. The nail was made in a forge, and the propaganda flyer has a drink menu on the back. That's some nice attention to detail. I'm impressed. Based on these facts, a couple of possible suspects come to mind. Chloe the innkeeper, and Lass the blacksmith. Either of them could have had something to do with this. They'd never talk to a guard, but they might be more open with an outsider like you. I'd like you to question them both. I'll be keeping an eye on who's going in and out of Chloe's tavern. We clear? Crystal clear. Good. Then we'll meet up again when you're done talking to them. Not bad. They're still in Golia. Did you hear that they escaped? I was bound to go wrong. The cultivators are getting paid more. Can't be. See for yourself. Let's get back to the field. You're serious? That's nuts! What do you think it'll take to get her to treat us like human beings? Any chance you could help with that? I mean, you're already on our side. Let me think about it. Thanks, man. I should feel shame. It's really annoying. It'll be fine.
Butch and the other cultivators are back at work. That's good. There's still one more thing I could use your advice with. You've never given the impression that you're looking for suggestions. You don't say. That's why I'm asking you now. I've got some time. What do you want to know? Something's telling me the shards won't keep the cultivators satisfied for very long. I'm not surprised. They're unhappy. But how? They even have the work tools they need. Have you ever tried listening to them? Why? Their role here is clear. I've explained what they have to do, more than once. Did you also show them? No. Why would I demonstrate what I've already explained? Have you ever praised their work? I haven't needed to. Do you show your workers the same respect you show your seedlings? Not really. I guess. That's what I thought. I'm starting to understand what you're trying to say. I think I know what has to be done. You've given me a lot to think about. Thanks. Did you want to know anything else? Not right now. I'll report to Fenris that you've been a big help. Now, please excuse me. There's some things I need to... explain. Good. Fenris sent me. It's about the mine. So? What'd he say? He gave me money. Huh. Well, that's a shit ton of shards, but what in the hell are you supposed to do with them? Stuff them in the fucking cracks to stop the leak? You got any bright ideas, son? How about sealing up the source of the gas? Well, that sure would work good. But some poor son of a bitch has got to go down there and find the source. Yeah. I know, old Scrappy's already asked a lot. But would you do this for me, too? No problem. You should take some of Fenris's money. Get yourself some healing potions or some shit like that. You know what? Hang on. I think I got a gas mask around here somewhere. It's crap. But it might help a little. You look round the mine. I'll think up plan B. Fucked if I know what it'll involve, but leave it to old Scrappy. Very good. 